I'm going home for a while. Then don't come back. Here, the divorce papers. I've already signed them. Take them and get the hell out of here. My husband threw them at me. I picked up the scattered papers up and visited an attorney's office. My husband will regret this. I'm Zoe, 28 years old. My husband Noah is two years older than me, and we were being married for a year. I've been working as a freelance graphic designer from home since before my marriage. Noah works as a salesman. A friend of mine introduced us when I was mopping about my fresh breakup two years ago. At the time, I had no intention to start a new relationship, but Noah insisted on hanging out as friends. He supposedly fell in love with me when my friend showed him my pictures. After going out with him on several occasions, I came to know of his affectionate side and eventually fell in love with him. I confessed my feelings to him, and we became an official couple. Then he proposed to me six months later, and we got married. Honey, you're very lucky to be chosen by me. I'm the top salesman at work, and many girls are chasing after me. Noah repeatedly bossed after we got married. He was indeed a good-looking elite businessman, but his saying it out loud was questionable. At the time, I took his arrogance as a charm. I was blinded by love, you know. I love my confident, kind, and manly husband. We don't have kids. But I was fulfilled in my marriage. One year after we got married, I started facing an obstacle. Listen, Zoe, when will you make me happy with the grandchild? It was my mother-in-law, Emma. She started to ask me to get pregnant as soon as possible every time I saw her. Noah and I visited his parents a few times a month since they lived within a 15-minute drive. I had to hear the same question frequently. We are still young, so we want to spend a little more time together. She blatantly gave a loud groan of dismay. You say young, but you're turning thirty soon. I gave you a year to see how things go, and didn't say anything. So that's enough, isn't it? It's about time you had a baby before it gets too hard on you. When I got married, I had Noah right away. Besides, you aren't doing nothing at home, aren't you? She couldn't get used to the idea of working from home, so she didn't recognize my work as work. Anyway, the real reason we didn't want to get pregnant yet was that Noah insisted on being alone for a little longer. What are you saying? I don't work from home. I've told you many times that my salary is the same as Noah's. I'm suspecting that's a lie that he's covering for you. Aren't you just hanging out at home? That's so not true, Noah. Say something. Um. Oh yeah. At times like that, he didn't say anything to help me. He once explained the reason. Mom doesn't really listen to me while I try to explain things to her. It's a waste of time. Just let whatever she says go in one ear and out the other. Still, I was in trouble, so he could have at least defended me a little. Instead. He just lay on the sofa, fiddling with his phone, and made ransom responses. Anyway, whatever you say, you're not busy. You'd better fulfill your role as a wife. If you don't get pregnant by the end of this year, I'll ask you to leave Noah. Excuse me? No excuse. Noah is my only child. I need a daughter-in-law who will leave me a legitimate heir. No, I didn't even look up from this phone. What I was being unreasonably scolded by his mother. I was so angry that I questioned him about it once we were back home. Hun, why didn't you intervene earlier? You need to convince your mom that it's you who want delay having kids. I'm sorry, but she's too old-fashioned. She stuck with the idea of having kids as soon as married. I know. But you could at least try and explain to her. She's the kind of person who never changes my. It's just wasting my energy. I've been telling you from the beginning. Just give her random, appropriate answers. But she said she would ask me to leave you if I don't get pregnant by the end of the year. Don't worry. 
She's just trying to scare you. Look, it's not because she told me to, but I think it's about time for us to start a family. Why don't you want a baby? I don't mind. I just want to enjoy the two of us for now. If we have a baby, you'll be busy that you won't have much time for me. He put me into his arms as he spoke. I thought he was adorable and held him back tightly. He knew the right things to say at home, but when we went to his parents' house, he still didn't protect me from his mother. She even started calling me every day asking if I was pregnant. I was getting sick and tired of her. I had never mentioned to her that it was Noah's idea to delay the pregnancy. I was concerned about causing a family feud, but I ran out of my patience and finally told her about it. However, she denied it once. Is that what you are making him say? There's no way he would say that. Of course not. It's exactly what he tells me. I want to have a baby soon too. Oh, Noah, is that true? Huh? Not exactly. I do want to stay with the two of us, and she agrees with me too. I was stunned. I did agree with him, but if he told her in that context, it sounded like I just lied about wanting a baby soon. Emma glared at me as I expected. You see, you are agreeing with him. Have a baby as soon as possible. Don't keep me waiting forever. He ended up with me being at fault again. When we got home, I asked him why he had to say it like that to his mother. He said he would clarify with her next time, which he never did. I wondered why I had to go through such headaches, and felt gloomy around that time. Then I found out why Noah didn't want a baby one day. It was a weekend, and he was out. Once a month, he made plans to go out with his friend. At first, I was just lounging around at home. We were supposed to go and see Emma in the evening, so I was feeling down, thinking about what she would say to me. I decided to go out to distract myself. I felt a little better after shopping for the first time in a while, and was about to take a coffee break. At first, I wasn't sure what my eyes were seeing. There was a woman, her baby, and Noah in the terrace section of the cafe. I quickly hid behind the wall to avoid being seen by him. He and the woman seemed to be having a pleasant conversation, and then he suddenly picked up the baby and cradled it. My mind went blank. And just kept watching the scene in front of me, without comprehension. He said he was going out with a friend, and I wondered if she was the friend. I thought I'd be introduced to all of his friends since we got married, but I had never met her. Then I saw him kissing the baby on the cheek. After all the talk about denying the pregnancy, my heart ached to see him looking lovingly at someone else's baby. I began to think that he didn't really love me, and that's why he didn't want to have a baby with me. My sides became blurred with tears. I wondered if he was cheating on me. The thought made my heart ache even more. I took a picture of the three having a pleasant time together. Just as I was about to leave the place, he handed the woman an envelope and stood up. I rushed back home so as not to run into him. He came back fifty minutes after me. As soon as he did, I questioned him. Hey, hon, you went out with your friend, right? Yep. What's up? Is she your friend too? I showed him the picture I had taken earlier. His face lost color all of the sudden. What? Why do you have this picture? I just happened to find you guys when I was shopping. What's this all about? Explain it to me. Have you been cheating on me? No way. I have not. Then who is this? Also, what the hell was the envelope you handed her at the end? As I continued to question him, he slowly answered with a look of dismay on his face. Well, I was going to tell you sooner or later. You know, I'm pretty popular, right? So, I had a few flings before I met you. And one of them got pregnant. Huh? I was flabbergasted by his confession. 
I found out after we got married. She was already 28 weeks pregnant by the time she told me, and she was determined to have the baby. It was my fault for ignoring her, even though she tried to get in touch with me earlier. She didn't ask for a marriage, but wanted me to recognize the baby. I felt bad for the child to be fatherless, so I acknowledged it. I asked her for a once a month visitation right in return. She was also having a hard time financially, so I'm paying her child support. My head spun upon hearing his revelation, and my knees gave out. Honey, are you okay? He quickly rushed to my side, but I refused his touch. Wait a minute, it's a little strange. She was 28 weeks pregnant when we got married. Does that mean you were with her when we were dating? I'm telling you, it's not like that. When we became official, I completely cut ties with her. But we were already seeing each other, right? Yes, but we were in a relationship yet. I couldn't believe it. Even though we weren't officially a couple, he was obvious with his intention to become one. Yet he was having a fling on the side? I didn't know what was going to happen to us, so... Besides, I never thought she would get pregnant. But you were still acting in a way that got her pregnant. Well, yeah, he mumbled. I had never expected him to be so irresponsible. I was furious that he had never mentioned it, even after a year of marriage. So, since you already have a baby, is that why you don't want to have one with me yet? He flinched once, and then made an awkward smile. No, I want a baby with you at some point, but as I said before, I'm paying child support every month. If we were to have a baby, you might need to take a break from work. If that happens, it's going to be very tight financially. I thought about starting a family with you after I get a raise. I was already beyond angry and was simply dumbfounded. Well then, make sure you tell your mother about this. No way! Yes, I'm the one who's always been bland by her and you turned a blind eye. You even made it sound like I didn't want a baby. No, I can't tell my parents that I have a child with another woman. What the hell? That's so selfish. I had unknowingly go along with your selfish ego every time and was made to feel bad about it. Watch your tone. Are you trying to say you don't like being with my family? I didn't say that. I'm saying that I was unreasonably bland because of you. I don't dislike Emma. What's with your attitude? I've apologized. Why are you still complaining? Don't you forget that you're lucky to be married to an excellent man like me. You're overreacting just because I have a child. Overreacting? That's enough. It's a waste of time talking to you. I want to think about the future, so I'm going back to my parents' house for a while. What the hell? Why would you do that? There's no need for you to think about anything. You're my wife. You're supposed to step out of me. I was amazed by his ideals. How could I so easily accept such a serious matter just because I was his wife? I was also furious that he had been hiding the illegitimate child from his parents. I couldn't forgive him for making me look back in front of Mama, even thought it was his fault. Just because I'm your wife doesn't mean I can accept everything. Anyway, I'm leaving, and while I'm gone, you also need to think about it. As I was about to get up, he got up first and went into the bedroom. He came back with something and threw it at me. Then don't come back here. If you can't accept me for who I am, you're not my wife. Here, the divorce papers. I've already signed them. Take them and get the hell out of here. He threw them at me. What do you mean you've already signed? I could have understood if he asked for a divorce, but the fact that he had already signed meant that he had prepared them in advance. I couldn't believe it. He smiled sarcastically and replied, You never know what's going to happen in life, so you have to be prepared for everything.
Well, I like your appearance, but if you can't accept me, I don't need you anymore. Fortunately, there are many women who threw themselves at me. I just have to choose a good one. In other words, there are plenty of women who can fill the role of my wife. His arrogance pissed me off. I just wanted to calmly think about the future, including the illegitimate child. But not only did he allow me to do so, but told me that there were others to take my place. I had the right to be furious at him for treating me like that. I clutched the divorce papers tightly and glared at him. I didn't think you were such a scumbag. I will give you a divorce as you wish. I'll get my stuff when you're not here. I doubt we will ever see each other again. Goodbye. I ran out of the house and started to look for a lawyer on my phone. However, I knew that I couldn't contain my anger if I just left at that point. As soon as I got to my parents' house, I reported to my father the whole thing. I took the next day off work to pick up my things. I thought I had a happy marriage. I was so disappointed to realize that I had married such a scumbag that tears welled up. I tried to think it was a blessing to disguise that I got to find out before wasting many more years and wipe my tears away. When the packing was finished and a mover came to pick them up, I received a call from Noah. Hello, Zoe. I'm so sorry. Please forgive me. As soon as I picked up the phone, he apologized frantically. I grinned at the distressed tone of his voice. No way. I can't forgive you. You initiated the divorce anyway. I just gave you what you wanted. No, no. That was just a joke. I mean, I've realized that what I've done, and I'm sorry. You haven't done anything with the divorce papers yet, have you? Of course I have. I've already consulted a lawyer. Let's just forget the divorce and start over. I can't live without you after all. I wanted to laugh at the sound of his despair. I was convinced that he was pushed to the edge of cliff because of my father. That was expected. My father was the CEO of a major client of his company. Noah, in the heat of the moment, must have forgotten all about it when he threw the divorce papers at me. I was thrilled to know that he was being punished. Have you lost the contract of a major client? That's a shame. I can't believe the elite salesman blundered like this. Let's see how he handles it. Right, that's what I'm going to start over with you. There are plenty of women to replace me, aren't there? Good luck finding one. I hung up the phone and enjoyed the feeling of triumph. Later, my father told me that Noah was demoted for losing the contract. I guess he was lucky he wasn't let go. Because of the incident. The company's business had been going downhill, and his co-workers apparently gave him reproachable eyes. He told his parents about the illegitimate child. They were happy at first and tried to have him married to the mother of the child. However, once they found out the woman was very poor, they changed their mind. Noah asked me again to start over, but of course I refused. Who will willingly go back to that mother-in-law and ex-husband? Meanwhile, our divorce was finalized. I have been living at and working from my parents' house. I recently landed a contract with a major company, and my work is going quite well. I'm now devoting myself to work while hoping to meet someone wonderful someday.